Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics, Behind the Scenes, Natasha Romanoff was screwed. Chapter 1, A Mortal Body, As Good as a God. Tony Stark sent a nuclear bomb to send all Chidori to hell, and the war in New York ended. But the destruction caused by the Chidori invasion has brought huge haze to the earth. The losses in New York alone were in the tens of billions. In the ruins of New York, with ruins and ruins, a young man appears out of thin air on the streets. Looking around, he said in confusion, Am I, traveling through time? The young man's name is Lin Fan. One second he was still at home, suddenly everything was spinning, and then he appeared here out of thin air. Looking at the apocalyptic scene around them, everyone in Lin Fan was dumbfounded. Could this be the beginning of the end? Hey, sir. At the moment, a shout suddenly came to mind. Then a beautiful figure came from a distance. This man's cold face was in sharp contrast to his amazing figure, which instantly attracted Lin Fan's attention. He looked at the woman who was coming towards him in shock, his eyes full of disbelief. Sir, please leave immediately. Ignoring Lin Fan's hot gaze, Natasha Romanoff looked cold. She said in a slightly stern tone, This is a post-war area. It is under the jurisdiction of S.H.I.E.L.D. Anyone who is not involved is asked to leave immediately, otherwise they will be punished for public security crimes. She was already very dissatisfied when she was sent to clean up the battlefield. At the moment someone broke into the post-war area again. Judging from her many years of agent experience, Lin Fan is just an ordinary person. He is even a scumbag. If it weren't for Lin Fan's helplessness, she would have sent someone to arrest him long ago. Oh, I'm leaving now, I'm leaving now. Lin Fan suddenly came back to his senses, and his heart was filled with ups and downs. He suppressed the shock in his heart. Without looking directly into Natasha Romanoff's sharp eyes, he quickly turned around and left without daring to stop at all. He wanted nothing to do with S.H.I.E.L.D. He never imagined that he would actually travel to the Marvel world. This is countless times more dangerous than the Doomsday Start. Not to mention the villains who pop up from time to time to cause trouble, there is a purple sweet potato spirit who is dedicated to family planning just outside the universe. Once the opponent snaps his fingers of fate, half of all life in the entire universe will die. And there is a 50% chance that he is one of them. How do you travel to such a ghost place? Is there a system? Lin Fan walked in a hurry, but his mood was extremely heavy. There is simply no more miserable start than his. Moreover, in a foreign country and unfamiliar with the place, it is even difficult for him to communicate at a level 4 level. What should I do now? Thinking about his own survival, Lin Fan's mentality exploded. But suddenly he suddenly realized a problem. Wait, there's a language barrier. Then. Dot how did I communicate with Natasha Romanoff just now? Lin Fan suddenly stopped when he realized this problem. He remembered that what he had just said seemed to be very fluent English. Could it be that he was reborn in another's body? And at the moment, ding, the host traveled through the Marvel world and met the system activation conditions. Ding, the god level behind the scenes system is opening. The cold electronic sound sounded in Lin Fan's ears. What? System. Hearing this voice, Lin Fan suddenly turned from worry to joy, and couldn't help but feel excited. Not far away, Natasha Romanoff looked at Lin Fan's back. Am I that terrible? Seeing Lin Fan trembling with fear, Natasha Romanoff said to herself. She subconsciously touched her beautiful face. She ignored Lin Fan, an irrelevant person, and left here directly. She has a lot of work to deal with next. Call. Lin Fan doesn't know what Natasha Romanoff is thinking. He took a deep breath to calm down. The emergence of the system gave him hope, not only to survive in the Marvel world, but also to become a master. After all, the system is a must-have gold finger for the protagonist. Whoever gets the system will not reach the pinnacle of life and marry by Fumei. Get out of here quickly. Lin Fan quickened his pace and soon left the post-war area. In a hotel a few blocks away. Lin Fan successfully checked into the hotel with the help of a gold necklace he just picked up. He didn't care about the store owner's blackmail. After all, he was unfamiliar with the place. Even if you get the system, you still have to survive before you have the chance to continue to develop. First, he took a hot bath, and then Lin Fan called to order dinner. Then he sat cross-legged on the soft big bed. 
System, are you there? Lin Fan called out in his heart. Ding. A mechanical sound without any emotion sounded. Lin Fan's heart suddenly went up and down. There was a flow of light and shadow, and in the void in front of Lin Fan, a light curtain emerged out of thin air. Then the cold system prompt sounded again. Ding, the god level behind the scenes system is activated. System, what abilities do you have? Lin Fan asked quickly, with curiosity on his face. Produced by the system, it must be a high quality product. He must have an in-depth understanding of his own system in all aspects, so that he can rely on the system to reach the top of his life. Ding, the system introduction has been synchronized. Please check it yourself. Ding, novice gift packs are being distributed. Ding, congratulations to the host for getting the novice gift package. The system prompt sounded quietly. Gift bag. Lin Fan's eyes lit up and he ordered without hesitation. System, turn on directly. Ding, the novice gift package is open. Congratulations to the host for getting 100,000 emotional points. Nice. Lin Fan was overjoyed when he got the reward. He had just understood the system he had obtained. God level behind the scenes system. As the name suggests, as long as you continue to cause a sensation and shock, you can harvest the emotional value of others. And emotional value is the currency that turns on the system function. As long as he consumes emotional points, he can make the system do anything. Remember, it's anything. Whether it's creating objects or life, there's nothing the system can't do. It is not an exaggeration to say that the system is a universal tinker bell. And now the system rewards 100,000 emotional points, which is enough for him to plan the first good show in this sensitive period just after the New York War. But before that, Lin Fan still has a problem to solve. System, you asked me to do something, but what if the Ancient One Magician or even the OAA discovers it? Lin Fan asked the system in his mind. Letting him cause trouble is tantamount to attracting a series of attention, which may expose himself. And in the Marvel world, this is obviously an act of destroying the timeline. What if OAA notices this? Ding, host, please rest assured. The system and the host are bound, and the system can ensure that the host is not spied on by any being. Is this okay? That's great. Lin Fan's eyes suddenly lit up when he heard this, and his heart was full of surprises. By the way, this system is too powerful, right? You must know that with the system's ability, even someone as powerful as OAA can create it, which is enough to show how powerful the system is. This also means that he jumped out of the three realms at the beginning and was not in the five elements. If he said that, he wouldn't be sleepy. Make trouble. Crazy things. System, I want everyone in the world to have the devil whisper infinite times in their sleep, and add a certain weird corrosive effect. According to what he had in mind, Lin Fan made direct requests to the system. He must make good use of what little emotion he has. Before the cost can be recovered, he must continue to develop and harvest emotional value first. Wait until the landlord's family has some room to spare before improving their own strength. Then he will be able to do things without any worries. I was thinking secretly, and the system responded immediately. Ding, according to the requirements of the host, those who meet the conditions are, Cthulhu, the god of nightmares, and the red-haired monster. Ding, please let the host choose the details. Buzz. The system prompt ended, and relevant introductions poured into Lin Fan's mind. And he quickly made his decision. The god of nightmares can achieve this perfectly, but it conflicts with his plan, so it is ruled out directly. And the red-haired monster was too outrageous, and he didn't want to remain unknown in his later years. So the choice is obvious. System, I choose Cthulhu, you are like this, such and such. Lin Fan immediately stated his requirements to the system. Ding, the host spent 100,000 emotional points to create a breath of Cthulhu, a strange invasion. Dot, as the system takes action, a strange force envelopes the earth. But no one noticed this. Kamar Taj, the ancient one magician who was sitting quietly frowned, feeling uneasy in his heart, but he was unable to detect the source of the uneasiness. She opened her eyes suddenly, feeling a palpitating feeling in her heart. What happened again? The ancient one magician murmured in a deep voice, with a slightly gloomy expression. The eye of Agamotto on the chest lights up. The power of time flowed, but no matter how she explored the source, she found nothing. 
But the ancient one magician knows very well that if something goes wrong, there must be a monster. Something unknown happened. Ding, ancient one magician's emotional value plus 2333. At the same time, Asgard. The old Odin is sitting in his palace, handling the government affairs of Asgard. As he aged, his powers became increasingly weaker. But there is no one in Asgard who can hold up the main beam. His eldest daughter Hela was sealed by his own hands, Thor was reckless and belligerent, and Loki was full of misunderstandings about him. Ragnarok's prophecy is coming, and Odin at the moment feels haggard in his heart. Snap! Suddenly Odin trembled and dropped the pen in his hand. He looked at the earth in shock. Those deep eyes seemed to be able to see everything happening on the earth through the endless void. But no matter how hard he searched, he couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. Hey! Troubled times, troubled times. His expression became more solemn, and Odin sighed helplessly. Earth is Asgard's ally. But just now, he felt an inexplicable throbbing, which gave him a feeling of panic. It was as if he was being targeted by a beast when he was still weak. Ding, Odin's emotional value plus 2333. Heimdall. With a thought in his mind, Odin ordered Heimdall. Strengthen the monitoring of the earth. If any abnormality occurs, report it to me immediately. Yes, Lord God King. Above Bifrost, Heimdall looked solemn. He did not question Odin's orders. After all, the Earth has just experienced the Chidori invasion, and it is reasonable to strengthen supervision at a time when the situation is in turmoil. But what Heimdall doesn't know is that Cthulhu has already arrived. When darkness sweeps across the Earth, strangeness descends, and you fall asleep quietly. A great breath invades all mankind. It contains the will of death and destruction, quietly infecting all sleeping beings. The decaying aura was like in Doug Grave. In the dreams of countless people, the will manifests the endless fan god and plays a lament that symbolizes the source of disaster. The sound is disgusting, and it conjures up thousands of strange phenomena that erode people's hearts. Dot. 14th Street, New York. This is a post-war area and is now under official jurisdiction. S.H.I.E.L.D. also sent personnel to take over. And their purpose is also very simple. Although the Chitori were eliminated, the various technological weapons they left behind were scattered in various areas of the battlefield. For humans, these technologies are absolutely excellent research objects. This is enough to advance human science and technology for more than 10 years. In order to avoid the loss of this wealth, officials directly called in the military to take over the entire post-war area. The wily Nick Fury will naturally not miss this opportunity. He sent his right-hand man, Natasha Romanoff, directly. At the moment, somewhere in the post-war zone, Natasha Romanoff returned to the apartment after finishing her patrol, took off her clothes and walked into the bathroom. After washing up, she admired her charming body in the mirror. The towering chest showed a perfect peak shape. The fair skin is like mud and fat jade covered with a layer of moisture at the moment, making it look even more charming. Hee <laughs> hee, it's so perfect. With a narcissistic laugh, Natasha Romanoff walked out of the bathroom humming a tune. She quickly sealed herself on the soft bed. As her breathing stabilized, Natasha Romanoff's body was in a semi-tense state, and she soon fell asleep. But in her sleep, strands of black aura filled the air. It was as if the foggy day had blinded my eyes. Natasha Romanoff seemed to be waking up from a dream, only to see a strange shadow suddenly coming to her. Countless tentacles stretched out and tied her up. The strange tentacles give people a smooth touch. The suffocating feeling of being tied up came from her body, which made Natasha Romanoff feel very sick, and her face turned red with embarrassment and anger. Natasha Romanoff was entangled in the tentacles, unable to move her body. Waves of cold black aura spread through her body from the tentacles, making her feel deeply frightened. In the darkness, Natasha Romanoff's thoughts were drawn back to the past. She recalls the hellish training she was forced to undergo, training that transformed her into an emotionless killer. Growing up, Natasha Romanoff was forced to undergo various cruel trainings, which gradually stripped her of her soul and made her cold and ruthless. Every day was painful, and her body was trained to be as tough as steel. She learned various fighting techniques and assassination techniques. But at the same time, she also lost her soul. She was taught to follow orders, not ask why, just get the job done. Emotions, pain, sadness. 
Everything was suppressed in her heart. The power of darkness penetrated her body, as if speaking of Cthulhu's will. Natasha Romanoff felt herself slowly losing control, her thoughts were overwhelmed by darkness, and she began to slip into crazy hallucinations. In a hallucination, she saw herself imprisoned in a spooky dungeon. The smell of blood filled the air. She was chained and her body was whipped until blood dripped from her body. But she couldn't make any sound and could only suffer the pain silently. In her hallucinations, she saw herself being forced to kill innocent people, no matter men, women, or children, without any mercy. Her body moved like a machine, without a trace of hesitation or pain. Scenes of killings kept flashing before her eyes, and she was forced to be immersed in the bloody atmosphere. Natasha Romanoff's heart was gradually corrupted by darkness. She felt like she was about to be swallowed up by darkness. But at the same time, a trace of persistence deep inside her began to resist. She struggled to escape this terrible nightmare. Amidst the tentacles of darkness and nightmare visions, Natasha Romanoff struggled, trying with all her strength to find herself again. No, this is not me, this is not what I want. Natasha Romanoff continues to cry out to the darkness, and she uses all her strength to resist the power of darkness. But the endless sinking made it impossible for her to struggle out of the quagmire. As the tentacles constantly tightened, Natasha Romanoff felt like she was about to suffocate, and her whole mind became numb. Ding, Natasha Romanoff's emotional value plus 1333. Stark Manor. Although the New York War is over, the impact it has had on the entire human race is quietly continuing to ferment. The existence of aliens only brings more panic. It turns out that humans are not the only special intelligent race. Even in the unknown starry sky, there are beings that are more powerful and more terrifying than humans. This time only New York was invaded, but what about next time? Whether active or passive, human beings have come into contact with cosmic civilization, and human beings' weakness will one day lead to their own destruction. The public opinion on the internet is like a storm, making more people fall into inexplicable worries. As a participant, Tony Stark felt even more strongly. The Chidori battle was terrifying, but they were just cannon fodder for Thanos, and they didn't even know how powerful Thanos was. Faced with such a threat, Tony Stark has become increasingly anxious in recent days. He tried to develop a more powerful steel armor. But several days of sleepless nights had made him very tired, and his spirit had been stretched to the extreme. Sir, I think you need some rest. The cold electronic sound of artificial intelligence JARVIS sounded. According to physical health monitoring, you are very depressed now. If you don't rest, there is a 43.76% chance of sudden death. That's enough, J-A-R-V-I-S. I know what I'm doing. There has been no progress in research and development, and Tony Stark, who was already anxious, scolded him dissatisfied. But then he smashed the table in frustration. Wow. The parts on the table were scattered all over the floor. After several days of research, he still could not find a new idea for perfecting the steel armor. Nanotechnology was too profound. Even someone as smart as him cannot easily develop nanotechnology. This inevitably made him feel extremely frustrated and angry. After looking at the current time, Tony Stark sighed helplessly and walked directly to the sofa nearby. He poured himself a glass of whiskey and drank it all in one gulp. The strong drink enters the throat and the spirit becomes a hundred times stronger. But then came the deep exhaustion, which made him feel dazed, and he subconsciously lay down on the sofa and fell asleep. It was monitored that Tony Stark was mentally stable and physically healthy, and JARVIS did not call the police. And in his sleep, a misty voice sounded. Want to understand the meaning of life. Want to have invincible power. Want to gain great wisdom. Accept me. Become one with me and the whole world will belong to you. Single quote. One after another, charming voices echoed constantly one after another. This voice seemed to possess some kind of magical power. Tony Stark was confused and subconsciously wanted to let go of his restraints and accept the beauty described by this voice. But his subconscious told him that once he accepted it, the consequences would be disastrous. This tangled state constantly tortured his mind. Perhaps sensing that the sound was not enough to seduce him, 
pictures appeared one after another, and countless strange lights twisted into tentacles and roared towards him. Tony Stark suddenly felt waves of depression, as if he was about to suffocate at any moment. Fine cold sweat has already soaked his clothes. In the outside world, the cold electronic sound of J-A-R-V-I-S sounded. Dee Dee. Excessive heartbeat was detected, blood pressure skyrocketed, and the risk of sudden death increased to 45%. 47%. 52. Dee Dee. Danger indicators have reached the critical value. Rescue system activated. While making the emergency call, J-A-R-V-I-S controlled the suit and walked quickly up to Tony Stark. This is a battle armor specially developed by Tony Stark that can be used for emergency rescue. But he never thought that one day he would use it on himself. Sizzle. The steel armor raised his hands, like a defibrillator, and directly released electric current and pressed it on Tony Stark's chest. Suddenly there was a burst of electric current, and Tony Stark's face turned pale. The expression on his face became distorted. J-A-R-V-I-S controlled the steel armor and continuously released pulse electric current, shocking Tony Stark's chest. Perhaps the first aid had an effect, Tony Stark's heartbeat slowed down and stabilized. But he didn't wake up from his coma until more than 10 minutes later. Ah, it hurts. Tony Stark groaned in pain. He felt like his whole body was broken. Especially his head, it felt like it was about to explode, and he was extremely dizzy. He knocked his head hard, gritted his teeth and said. J-A-R-V-I-S, what's wrong with me? Gentlemen. J-A-R-V-I-S reports with due diligence. Just now, your body suddenly showed symptoms of sudden death. I started first aid for you immediately. The rescue center personnel will arrive in two minutes. What? Tony and all the Starks were dumbfounded when they heard this. He didn't expect that he almost died suddenly. But he didn't know why, but he always felt that this matter was not that simple. A vague memory keeps appearing and disappearing. When he tried to recall it carefully, it seemed like a hallucination, which made him think it was the sequelae of sudden death. I'm fine. J-A-R-V-I-S, let the people in the rescue center go back. But sir, J-A-R-V-I-S objected. I think your physical condition requires a formal examination. This is responsible for your own life. No, J-A-R-V-I-S. Tony Stark struggled to stand up and said firmly. Do as I say. I don't want what you think. I want what I feel. Okay, sir. Dot. At the same time, darkness covers all parts of the world. Infected by the breath of Cthulhu, countless people fell into strange nightmares, recalling the nightmares they least wanted to face. This night is destined to be a restless night. In everyone's heart, there is hidden the original sin from the beginning of birth, but it is always buried in the deepest part of the heart. But under the influence of Cthulhu's breath, man's original sin is ready to take action. And those dangerous creatures no longer hide their sins. Darkness has arrived. The United States Fox Town. From the perspective of ordinary people, this is a very remote town, and few people come here. But those living here are the most special group of beings in the world. Werewolves and Vampires. As legendary creatures, werewolves and vampires were not actually made up by literati. Even these two races are born to fight to the death. When night falls, werewolves and vampires quietly appear, hunting each other's races in the town. And on this night, these two races were even crazier than before. They were all clearly influenced by crews. In a dark old castle, a man wearing a gorgeous baron costume had a ferocious look in his fanatical eyes. People, the opportunity has come to make the vampire clan great again. The man looked at everyone in front of him and said in an impassioned voice. The great ancestor of vampires has sent a call and is waiting for our sacrifice call. Go hunting. Collect human souls and the blood of those dirty werewolves. When the ancestor of vampires comes, we will all become the founders of a new era. As the man finished speaking, all the vampires looked excited. They excitedly raised their left hands and shouted. My God is great. Welcome my God. Let the vampire family be great again. The hunt begins. Just after the group of vampires left, the man's expression calmed down. This person's name is Arrow. Among the vampire clan in Fox Town, he is the head of the three elders and has an outstanding status. Arrow turned around and walked slowly into the dark castle. 
Following the twisted stairs, the man came to the secret room buried deep underground and looked directly at the altar in the center. At the moment there is a gray and white sculpture enshrined on the altar. Ordinary people would definitely scream in surprise when they saw it. But the man's face was full of enthusiasm. He knelt down with a thud and shouted in reverence. Great ancestor of vampires, please listen to the praises of your humble servants. Carmen will always be your most loyal servant. Buzz. With the call of the man, Carmen, the sculpture glowed with a strange light. Wisps of filthy power quietly emitted. Carmen was like a drug addict, greedily absorbing these filthy powers, with a look of morbid intoxication on her face. He bowed down more humbly and prayed constantly. Thank you God for your blessing. We will definitely welcome you as soon as possible. At the moment, Carmen looks like a fanatical believer. But what he didn't realize was that the sculpture he regarded as a great god was actually a twisted and ferocious tentacle monster. And what he thought was a gift from the gods was nothing but black aura escaping from his body. These powers originate from the original sin in everyone's heart. The vampire blood in Carmen's body, under the influence of some powerful force, actually produced some strange mutation. This can be said to be evolution, or it can be said to be spiritual infection and dirty blood. But a vampire killing feast has begun. Ding, arrows emotional value plus 1111. Ding, emotional value plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And at the same time, in the town, vampires swarmed out, no longer hiding their whereabouts, and they hunted ordinary residents of the town wantonly. All the kindness he had pretended to be in the past disappeared, leaving only his ferocious killing nature. All humans they encounter become their blood food. The whole town instantly became tragic. Whether they were civilians, nobles, merchants or wealthy families, they suffered a devastating blow in just one day. Corpses piled up like mountains, and blood gathered into streams and flowed through every corner of the town. The strong smell of blood filled the entire street. Humans died one after another, and the bright red blood dyed the soil red, making the town even more desolate. All of this has plunged the town residents into panic and panic. But the vampires had no scruples. They wreaked havoc and slaughtered, as if they wanted to vent all their previously suppressed killing emotions. Ah! Suddenly, a heart-rending scream pierced the night sky. In a certain residential area, I saw a lonely and drunk obese man, with blood all over his body and heart-rending screams coming from his mouth. In front of him, a vampire showed its ferocious fangs. H-M-P-H. Ant. He picked the man up and bit his neck. Just listen to pissed sound. The man's pupils shrank suddenly, and then he stopped struggling, and soon lost his voice. And this scene was clearly seen by the other two people in the room. Monster. Give my husband his life. The woman looked at the vampire in horror. Although she was frightened, her hatred made her hate the murderer. Especially thinking of her daughter behind her, she immediately shouted. Bella. Run. I'll trap him. You run. With that said the woman rushed directly towards the vampire. Behind her, a girl of 17 or 18 years old had a dull look on her face, as if she was frightened by this terrible scene. But before she could recover, her mother followed suit. That vampire didn't care about human life. He just waved his hand and pushed the woman to the ground, hitting the back of her head on the corner of the table and dying. The successive deaths of her stepfather and mother completely plunged the girl into despair. Ding, Bella's emotional value plus 233. The girl let out a shrill cry and rushed towards the vampire like crazy. But this seems ridiculous to a vampire. Gia Gia Gia, what a beautiful human being, I can't wait to taste your blood. Vampire Alan said, easily subduing the girl who wanted to fight. Then he was ready to taste the other party's blood. But at the moment, stop. Accompanied by a cold shout, a handsome young man broke in through the darkness outside the window. He looked down at Alan and said in a deep voice. You can't touch this girl. Edward. Seeing the young man, vampire Alan regained some sense. But then he said with disdain. Don't mind my business. Hunting humans is the leader's order. In order to welcome the arrival of the great god, do you want to go against the entire Volturi family? What? Hunting humans. Welcome my god. Edward was secretly shocked when he heard this. But then his heart sank. The town of Forks is a place where vampires are entrenched. The Volturi family is one of the most powerful forces. 
Even the Cullen family where he belongs is afraid of it. Now that the other party is hunting humans crazily, it will inevitably attract the attention of official organizations. This is definitely a recipe for death for the entire vampire race. Once the officials are offended, no matter how powerful the Volturi family is, they will never be able to stop the officials from killing them. No, I must tell my father about this as soon as possible. With this in mind, Edward had already made a decision. He looked surprised and said, I will never offend the Volturi family, but, as he spoke, he leaned forward directly. Before Alan could react, he punched the opponent in the heart and quickly rescued the girl Bella. While Alan was in pain, he took Bella directly out of the window. Alan gritted his teeth and looked at Edward's leaving figure. A black aura quietly spread out, making his pupils blood red, and the desire to kill in his heart became stronger. Edward, you are looking for death. With a roar, his body shook and twisted. He, who was still a human, transformed into a giant bat monster, crashed through the wall with a roar and chased away. What? This guy, turned into a monster. Holding the unconscious Bella, Edward's mood sank to the bottom at the moment. Naturally, he saw Alan chasing behind him. To be more precise, at the moment Alan has become a monster, without a trace of reason as an intelligent life. The entire Volturi family of vampires are killing humans like crazy. Alan's so-called welcome to my god. Coupled with the strange changes that appeared on the other party at the moment. These successive changes made Edward realize that something big must have happened to the Volturi family. They want to destroy the entire vampire race. Anxious in his heart, Edward quickly tried to get rid of the monster behind him. But just as he turned a corner, he bumped into two vampires from the Volturi family. Both parties were startled. Before they could say anything, the bat monster behind them was already chasing them. A not-so-fierce battle broke out. The bat monster directly killed two of its kind, then grabbed Edward and Bella and flew directly to the center of the town. In this square, countless human limbs piled up into a mountain of corpses in a sea of blood. At the moment a figure was already standing here. It is none other than the head of the three elders of the Volturi family, Arrow. When he saw the bat monster, his expression remained unchanged and his tone was unquestionable. Alan, you did a great job. For my god. Alan, who turned into a monster, roared from his mouth. Then he put Edward and Bella down. The Cullen boy. Looking at the man on the ground, Aluo raised a cruel look on his lips and murmured in a low voice. Two such pure souls are so tempting. If they are dedicated to my god, they will surely please the great god. Dot. The night flies by, and the dawn breaks. When the sun rose again, the small town of Fox did not usher in light, but was shrouded in gray fog. The killing last night cast a shadow over this ordinary town. Not one of the hundreds of thousands of people in the entire town was spared. If anyone could enter the town, they would find that the town was deserted at the moment, leaving only messes and dripping blood. The entire town has been reduced to purgatory, filled with a terrifying and eerie atmosphere. And in the central square of the town, a mountain of corpses stood in a sea of blood. The corpses of countless people were twisted and mixed into the city, with expressions of horror and despair still on their faces. Next to the huge mountain of corpses, thousands of vampires stood silently. These people looked cold and exuded a bloodthirsty aura, like man-eating demons. People. Arrow stood at the top, with a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood behind him, looking down at all the vampires in the room. Pointing at Edward who was tied to the torture rack, he said in a very low tone, the Karen family dares to destroy the death sacrificial ceremony. Their intentions are abominable and they deserve to be punished. For the majesty of our great God, kill the Karen family. Kill the Cullen family and welcome our God. The killings that took place in the small town of Forks were unknown to outsiders. At the moment in the post-war area of New York, Natasha Romanoff just woke up and felt that her whole body was very sore, as if she had worked hard all night. This is extremely unusual for a person who has received the super soldier serum strengthening. What's going on? Did something happen last night? Natasha Romanoff suddenly became alert and quickly checked the room. But in the end she found nothing. There were no signs of infiltration in the room. As a top agent, she believed that her eyes would not make mistakes. After checking to no avail, Natasha Romanoff felt that she might have been overthinking. 
Perhaps it was because he had just experienced the Battle of New York. That battle not only brought them knowledge of the existence of aliens, but also cast a shadow in their hearts. Natasha Romanoff thought it was because she was under too much psychological pressure, which made her feel exhausted. But when she walked to the bathroom to freshen up, looking in the mirror, the marks on his back looked like ferocious tentacles. Those traces were densely packed and extended to form some kind of weird pattern. Just looking at her makes me feel scared. As a professional agent, fear is an almost impossible emotion, but at the moment Natasha Romanoff did feel it. In an instant, Natasha Romanoff's pupils trembled, and her beautiful face changed drastically. Her whole body was shaking slightly uncontrollably. If she was just surprised before, then at the moment looking at the marks on her back, she was convinced that someone had definitely done something to her. Even in the silence, she didn't notice anything from beginning to end. This speculation immediately shocked her. Being able to attack her silently proves that as long as the other party is willing, he can take her life at any time. Who is such a dangerous and powerful being? What is the other party's purpose? Natasha Romanoff felt extremely frightened just thinking about it. She quickly put on her clothes and quickly came to the control room. Although she knew that there was a high probability that she would find nothing, she still refused to give up. And the final result is indeed nothing. There was no abnormality in the surveillance of the entire residential area, and even the patrolling detectives did not notice any intruders. This made Natasha Romanoff feel heavier and realize the seriousness of the problem. She immediately went to headquarters to report the matter. Ding, Natasha Romanoff's emotional value plus 1,333. Dot. At the same time, far away in Stark Manor. After experiencing the sudden death last night, Tony Stark learned a little lesson and took a good rest before getting up to work. Thinking back to his experience last night, he always felt something was strange. But he soon put the incident behind him. Seeing the research going nowhere, Tony Stark took a deep breath and devoted himself to research again. Unfortunately, the barriers to nanotechnology are by no means so easy to overcome. Half a day of research still yielded nothing. Just when Tony Stark was feeling irritable, the voice of J.A.R.V.I.S. suddenly came to mind. Sir, Nick Director Nick Fury is calling. Nick Fury. Hearing this, Tony Stark froze. He subconsciously wanted to refuse. He originally didn't have a good impression of the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., but he couldn't say he disliked him either. But if possible, he doesn't want to have too much contact with the other party. Connected, Tony Stark said calmly. Soon J.A.R.V.I.S. connected to the communication, and Nick Fury's deep voice sounded. Tony, something happened again. What? Tony Stark's expression darkened when he heard this. He knew that no matter what happened, he would not go to the Three Treasures Hall. But he didn't expect that the New York War had just ended, what else could happen? Could it be that Chidori has resurfaced? What happened? Tony Stark asked in a deep voice. On the other side of the communication, Nick Fury said in a solemn tone. Come to the base. I have contacted the captain and the others. I can't explain this matter in one sentence or two. Tony Stark said nothing, but he turned around directly, went to the warehouse where the steel armor was placed, and chose a newly developed portable armor. The steel armor soared into the sky, and Tony Stark rushed directly to the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. At the same time, a hotel in New York. Lin Fan stood in front of the window calmly. It was his third day traveling through time, but he hadn't fully accepted the fact yet. After all, this is a whole new world for him. Even though he knew Marvel well in his previous life, it was only when he got here that he realized how deep Marvel's waters were. Even with the system at hand, he must proceed with caution when planning. The revolution initiated by Cthulhu has just begun. Darkness is coming and strangeness is coming. As the instigator, Lin Fan is just a promoter, and he has no control over the specific direction. But he could imagine that the fate of countless people would change because of this. Cruz is a well-known figure in Christian mythology. Like many other old ones, those who are infected by Cthulhu's spirit will only have two final outcomes. One is that the spirit is polluted, the soul is lost, and it becomes a walking corpse. The second is that I am lucky enough to receive the gift of Cthulhu. There is original sin in life. The more stupid and despicable a person is, the easier it is to fall into the endless abyss. 
Except for people who are definitely pushed to the extreme. And the opposite. Those with genius minds and perseverance will receive gifts from God if they can resist mental pollution. What Lin Fan wants is not to destroy the world, although this can gain a lot of emotional value. For now, he doesn't want to wander into the stars. Lin Fan is very much looking forward to the change he has led. Cthulhu controls wisdom far beyond mortal understanding. The greatness of God goes without saying. This is a crisis, but also an opportunity. Only the smart people can win the reward. And Lin Fan is undoubtedly the biggest winner. But that's not all I want. Glancing at the increasing emotional value, Lin Fan murmured secretly. Since we are going to cause trouble, how can we do it with Cthulhu alone? The establishment of the foundation must also be put on the agenda. Dot. Avengers Base. When Tony Stark came here, the atmosphere in the conference room seemed very dull. Even Captain America looked extremely solemn at the moment. What happened? Tony Stark walked slowly, the steel armor on his body slowly lifting itself. Then he sat directly opposite Captain America. Looking at everyone present, he asked in a deep voice. Is Chitori resurrected again? No. Captain America shook his head and pointed to the projection screen at the top. At the moment a picture is displayed there. This is. Tony Stark looked confused. In the picture, a gray fog enveloped the entire town and black shadows loomed in the gray fog from time to time. He once thought it was a scene from some science fiction movie. So what's going on? Holding back the surprise in his heart, Tony Stark asked slightly dissatisfied. If something happens, just go and solve it. If none of you speak, what do you mean? Forks town. At the moment, Nick Fury, who had never spoken, stood up. He said while manipulating the satellite image. Just five hours ago, the agents at the Fox branch lost contact, and the satellite could only monitor this picture. I tried to contact the relevant people immediately, but... Nick Fury's expression became darker as he spoke. The loss of a branch was nothing to him. But what he cares most about is the changes in the town of Forks. Others may not know, but as the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D., he knew very well that the seemingly ordinary town of Forks was actually a gathering place for vampires. Even just outside the town, there is another legendary race gathering, werewolves. Now, unknown changes suddenly occurred in the town of Fox. He had every reason to suspect that it must be those vampires who were causing trouble. Then what? Do you want us to investigate? Tony Stark said a little unhappy. This is your S-H-I-E-L-D's job. I'm not your subordinate. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. The vision in the town of Forks is indeed very strange. But as Tony Stark said, he joined the Avengers, not S.H.I.E.L.D., and he didn't want to be sent around by Nick Fury. With that said, Tony Stark prepared to leave, and the steel armor assembled itself. Tony, Captain America and others quickly wanted to stop it. Nick Fury's expression remained unchanged, he looked at Tony Stark's back and said in a deep voice. This matter can only be done by the Avengers. Why? Tony Stark turned around and sneered. If you join the Avengers, you will become a pawn of S.H.I.E.L.D. Then I'm sorry, I quit. Because that's where vampires and werewolves gather. Nick Fury said in shock. What? Ding. Two hours later, a Quinjet pierced the sky. The Avengers arrive in the town of Forks. Due to the missing incident involving the S.H.I.E.L.D. branch, Nick Fury sent Natasha Romanoff and Hawkeye to act with the Avengers. At the moment sitting in the cabin, Natasha Romanoff felt a little uneasy. A nameless fear surged into my heart. It was as if there was a great fear waiting for her ahead, the unknown was like a monster that chose people to eat. Because of changes in the town of Fox, her original plan was disrupted. Reporting to Nick Fury is on hold for now. Compared to the supernatural incident she encountered, the incident in Fox Town seemed to her to be a more serious matter. Everyone, the fighter plane has arrived at its destination. It is about to land. Melinda, who acted as the driver, said in a deep voice. Open the hatch, Tony Stark said calmly. What? Everyone was puzzled. Tony Stark stood up slowly without saying a word. He was wearing the latest steel armor. As the hatch opened, he jumped down directly and flew straight to the town below. Let's go check the situation first. Captain America followed closely and jumped directly with a parachute on his back. Natasha Romanoff and others suddenly felt helpless. 
What can they do if there are two such reckless guys in a team at the same time? Looking at the dark gray fog below, everyone looked solemn. Vampires and werewolves are legends. But their goal for this trip was likely to be against these two creatures, so everyone was still a little nervous. Everyone, it's time to take action. Soon the fighter plane landed, and Natasha Romanoff and others filed out. Everyone walked quickly towards Fox Town. Inside the town of Forks, the killing has ended. The entire town became a purgatory. In the central square of the town, tens of thousands of corpses piled up into a mountain, turning into an altar of death. There are even corpses of vampires and werewolves. All this was done by Arrow. The dirty souls of humans alone are not enough to reflect their belief in our god. So they turned their butcher knives on those of their own race. The Cullen family and the werewolves suffered as a result. Under Arrow's hunting at all costs, the Cullen family suffered heavy losses, and at least hundreds of people died and their corpses are now piled up in a mountain of corpses in a sea of blood. Arrow, you deserve to die. Edward's eyes were splitting when he saw this scene. Bella is even more desperate. The two were tied to the execution rack and stared at the executioners. It was they who caused their own families to be destroyed. If they could, they would chop these people into pieces, eat their flesh, and drink their blood. But at the moment they were unable to resist and allowed themselves to be exploited. Despair and death are spreading quietly. Edward, it is a great honor for your Cullen family to be a sacrifice to our god. Facing Edward's hateful gaze, Arrow spoke indifferently. As for Bella, he ignored her the whole time. Just a human ant. If these two people didn't have the purest souls, they would have been killed by him long ago. These two people are perfect sacrifices to the great ancestor of vampires. He will surely gain the favor of our god. When the ancestor of vampires arrives, under the leadership of my god, their vampire family will usher in a great age. My god above, hear the prayer of your humble servant. Alua worshipped at the altar composed of mountains of corpses and seas of blood. On top of the altar, there was a distorted sculpture that he had ordered to build after being inspired. At the moment, the sculpture was covered with a layer of blood, and its twisted shape became more and more ferocious. The octopus monster's eyes exuded a strange aura. The gray mist spread like tentacles, stretching into the mountain of corpses and sea of blood below, greedily sucking blood and souls. A dirty and filthy aura emitted, constantly corroding the minds of everyone present. The vampires became even more crazy and restless. My people, come with me to welcome our god. Aluo said loudly to the people behind him. The vampires immediately fell to their knees and looked at the altar with feverish eyes. Great ancestor of vampires, please come. Under the leadership of A. Luo, everyone prayed constantly. Their faith turned into black threads. Quietly, those black silk threads were connected to the sculpture, blending with the bloody light. The already strange sculpture is cast in a shadow, as if it has a little more divinity. But he is the darkest evil god with the power of death. Buzz. As Arrow and others prayed, ripples appeared in the void, resonating with their voices. The endless gray mist surged crazily with blood. The gray fog that shrouded the entire town suddenly turned into a stormy sea and swept across it, even the sun in the sky was blocked. The gray fog rising into the sky is like a curtain of darkness, trying to swallow up the entire world. The pupils of Natasha Romanoff and others outside the town suddenly shrank. Not good. Something happened in the town. Everyone realized that there must be new changes in the town. And this is probably related to Tony Stark and Captain America. Under all unknown circumstances, it would be terrible if they encountered danger. No one dared to hesitation, so they immediately quickened their pace. Ding, Natasha Romanoff's emotional value plus 1333. Ding, Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Hawkeye's emotional value is plus 1111. Ding. At the moment in the interior of the town, Tony Stark falls from the sky, and beside him is Captain America. Both of them were stunned by the scene in front of them. I saw them at the moment deep in a street, but the surroundings were in a mess, like a doomsday disaster. Even the armor's radar could not detect the existence of any life. The whole town seems to have been reduced to a dead city. What's going on here? Captain America said in a deep voice, feeling uneasy in his heart. Not that he was afraid. 
But in this case, I am afraid that the hundreds of thousands of residents in the town have very little chance of surviving. You must know that even in the New York War, the number of casualties was only tens of thousands. But there are hundreds of thousands of people in Fox Town. When Captain America thought that so many people might be killed, Captain America felt heavy, and an unknown anger erupted like a volcano. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Buzz. At the moment, the center of the town burst into blood. Even through the thick gray fog, the two of them could see clearly that the blood was so rich that it was as solid as substance. And from the depths of the gray mist, faint sounds of prayer could be heard. Everything is weird and scary. Walk. Tony Stark was not afraid, and his armor rose into the sky. Captain America walked quickly through the streets. The two of them rushed towards the direction where the sound came from, one behind the other, where the bloody light was. The central square, the place of death. Endless blood swept across. Around the altar, blood gathered into strange patterns. It's like some obscure rune, or a death curse, which has some connection with the mountain of corpses and the sea of blood. Maybe prayer does the trick. Under the enthusiastic gazes of Aluo and others, gray fog continued to billow in the sky. A majestic figure emerged quietly, but it kept flashing. It's like the TV has no signal. This, what the hell is this? The pupils of Edward and Bella, who were bound, shrank suddenly, and their hearts were full of horror. At the moment they couldn't even care about the hatred in their hearts. Just because the scene in front of them was beyond their understanding, they couldn't imagine what happened. This weird and terrifying scene is like a legendary cult. And they were reduced to sacrifices. But what frightened them the most was the looming, ethereal figure. A nameless fear wanted to engulf their hearts. They couldn't help but want to sacrifice their souls. Ding, Edward's emotional value is plus 666. No, I don't want it. Edward bit the tip of his tongue sharply, and blood came out along with the stinging pain. His whole body suddenly sobered up a little. But Bella beside her was just a human girl, but at the moment she was almost sinking into it. Bella, wake up, wake up, Edward shouted anxiously. Although he had lived for thousands of years and met many confidants, no one had ever made him so moved. Before that, he had only been classmates with Bella and had no in-depth contact with her. Now they are the same fallen people in the world. Seeing Bella in danger, he wanted to help her, but was unable to do anything. And at the moment, Bella felt herself constantly falling. Sink. The world is so painful, give up resistance, and you will find eternal peace. Your mother is waiting for you there. Waves of bewitching sounds constantly impacted Bella's soul. At the moment there was only darkness before her eyes. At the end of nothingness, she was her dead parents, but at the moment they kept waving to her. Mother. Whispering softly, she couldn't help but want to sink into it. And her soul was gradually devoured. Ding, Bella's mood value is plus 666. At the same time, there was a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. People, the great ancestor of vampires has answered our prayers. Now is the time to show your faith in the gods. Aluo said loudly and excitedly, his voice full of confusion. And those vampires are even more fanatical. Without any hesitation, they stretched out their sharp claws and killed themselves, with blood flowing down the ground. Under the pull of some unknown force, the blood wrapped around the soul was devoured. The source of everything is the sculpture in the mountain of corpses and sea of blood. Buzz. Perhaps after absorbing enough blood, the sculpture suddenly burst into light and plunged into the blurry figure in the void. Suddenly the shadow became solid, as if someone was really coming. Seeing this scene, Aluo's heart palpitated. Ding, Arrow's emotional value plus 888. Ding, emotional value plus 1 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 plus 1. My god, please come. Aluo humbly bowed to the ground and kowtowed constantly. More and more vampires are giving their lives. Infected by fanaticism, thousands of vampires throughout the Volturi family committed suicide without hesitation. Suddenly the gray mist boiled, blood shot into the sky, and the aura of death was like the heaven and earth rolling together. The ethereal figure slowly cast his gaze. My god. Feeling being watched, Aro's heart stopped. He looked up at the shadow excitedly. Without any hesitation, 
he stood up and walked quickly to the cross, looking coldly at Edward and Bella in front of him. It is your lifelong honor to be a sacrifice to my God. There was no mercy in Arrow's tone. He raised his dry palm, and his sharp nails were like daggers, gently scratching Edward's neck. With a pissed sound, bright red blood spurted out. Arrow across from him was suddenly covered in blood. He was like a devil, staring at Edward with an almost sick expression. Ah, ah. Edward's eyes were full of hatred, but he was helpless. All the vitality slowly disappeared at this moment. Under his unwilling gaze, Eluo directly grabbed his body and threw it into the mountain of corpses and the sea of blood. A pure soul was stripped out under the influence of blood. This soul is directly integrated into the sculpture. Suddenly, the shadow in midair became more solid, as if the great god would come at any time in the next moment. Arrow was in agitated mood and turned towards Bella who was standing aside. At the moment Bella was thinking chaos. Under the guidance of that bewitching voice, she sank endlessly in the darkness, and her soul seemed like a lonely boat in the sea. Pissed, blood spurts. Bella's vitality slowly faded away, and her soul drifted away from her body. The endless abyss tried to swallow her up. Bella, who was already in despair, offered no resistance and allowed her soul to sink infinitely. As far away as New York. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding, Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Bella's emotional value plus 1111. Ding, Natasha Romanoff. Ding, system prompts sounded one after another, making Lin Fan raise his eyebrows with a surprised expression on his face. The acquisition of emotional value is naturally different for different characters. There are many main characters like Tony Stark. There are also powerful people, such as the Ancient One Magician and the God King Odin. Now that his mood level was soaring, Lin Fan couldn't help but become curious. It seems that the arrival of Cthulhu has caused some huge changes. It has also attracted the attention of Avengers. Whispering secretly, Lin Fan ordered the system. System, share real-time images. Ding, this function needs to consume 500 emotional points. Does the host confirm the sharing? Sure. Lin Fan didn't accept the mere 500 emotional value. Buzz. Along with ripples in the void, a curtain of light suddenly appeared. And above the light curtain, what is displayed is the situation around the altar of death in Fox Town. Bella, who was originally used as a sacrifice, was almost distorted at the moment. Wisps of blood shrouded it. The sculpture that exuded a strange aura shimmered slightly, and invisible tentacles bound Bella's delicate body. There is some kind of resonance between the two invisible. The endless dark wind blows, bringing with it a strong aura of death and decay. The surrounding gray fog boiled, enveloping endless death energy, pouring straight into Bella's body. It was as if the void was pouring in, and Bella's body was like a black hole. The gray fog that shrouded the entire town was swallowed up by her including the blood, souls, and even all tangible and invisible things that were sacrificed before, they all turned into nutrients for Bella to swallow at this moment. The evil death energy evolved into a black robe. Thousands of soul sacrifices crowned him, and he wore a black crown. Infected by the breath of Cthulhu, Bella, who was originally a human body, twisted her body and transformed into a void witch in an instant. Is this the first lucky guy? In this situation, Lin Fan could tell what happened at a glance. Cthulhu is the great old one. Even if it is just a breath, the impact caused by it is beyond the reach of ordinary people. Just like those vampires who have lost their minds. Bella is just the opposite. In the face of despair and death, Bella's soul was invaded by strangeness, and she had a faint tendency to become a witch. Logically speaking, this situation is what Lin Fan wants to see. After all, this will definitely cause a huge sensation. But thinking of his plan, Lin Fan's eyes flickered, but he had another idea in his heart. Isn't this person an excellent candidate for the foundation? Lin Fan looked at Bella in the picture with burning eyes. This person has a special physique. If used well, it can definitely help him save a lot of emotional points. The most important thing is. Convert an existing human into a foundation member. This just helps him realize his plan. Now that Cthulhu has arrived and invaded strangely, the foundation is naturally indispensable. 
The drama of light and darkness will never go out of style. Cthulhu God vs Foundation. The struggle between light and darkness can harvest emotional value to the greatest extent. System, I want to create a light. Lin Fan ordered to the system. Ding, the host consumes 10,000 emotional points, the light of hope is being created. Dot, the town of forks, altar of death. Under the strange invasion, Bella gave up her resistance, and her soul integrated all the evil spirits. Her soul has been thrown into the darkness, and she has become the death witch. Bella's soul is constantly sinking. Bella, wake up, wake up. But at the moment, Bella suddenly seemed to hear her mother's call. At first she just thought it was her imagination. At the moment, her soul was eroded, her mind was blurred, and her whole body was about to be swallowed by darkness. In front of her, the endless darkness was like the huge mouth of an evil beast. But just when she was about to sink completely, a glimmer of light suddenly lit up at the end of the darkness, and the familiar figure of her mother emerged. Bella. Bella. Her mother waved to her kindly. Bella was suddenly shocked. Mother. Bella felt unbelievable when her dead mother appeared again. Bella walked quickly to her mother. Mom, Bella misses you so much. Bits and pieces of the past reappeared in her mind, and she burst into tears. It had been the happiest time of her life. But because of the arrival of a devil, those executioners plunged her already troubled life into a dark abyss. His mother died in front of him, and the desperate feeling of powerlessness came over him. If she could, Bella was willing to pay any price just to bring her mother back to life. Bella, my child. Mother pulled Bella into her arms, and her arms were so warm. Bella's soul gradually became clear as chaos. She greedily enjoyed her mother's warm embrace and murmured in a low voice. Great, mom, I'm so glad you're okay. No, Bella. Mother looked at Bella lovingly and said. Dead people cannot be resurrected. I am indeed dead, but I don't want you to be like me. What? Bella was shocked and unwilling to accept the reality. Black aura flooded her soul again. But her mother held her tightly gave her warmth, and softly comforted her. Listen to me, Bella. Mother said with a loving look. Whether I am still alive or not, I hope you can live happily. So, promise me, be brave and be yourself. Mom, I. Bella hugged her mother tightly. But there was a sense of detachment. No matter how she resisted, her mother's figure gradually faded away. The mother's figure turned into a warm light, just like the high sun, emitting the supreme light. A supreme voice sounded quietly. Young man, do you believe in the light? I believe. Bella nodded without any hesitation. I took my mother's warning to heart. She directly opened her arms and embraced the warm light around her, and the two gradually integrated. The light of hope went straight into Bella's body. Suddenly, like a spring breeze, the strangeness in Bella's soul was slowly eliminated. The blackened death which gradually regained her sanity. And all of this was naturally done by Lin Fan. Today, Bella has changed from a strange creation of Cthulhu to a child chosen by the light. Bella is the Foundation's number one member on Earth. Human Bella, from today on, you are the Foundation's first employee on Earth. If there is any news about the evil god Cthulhu, report it to headquarters immediately. The Foundation will give different rewards based on the contribution to the task. There are many holy objects that can bring people back to life. Bella was shocked when she heard this. Foundation. Reward. Resurrection from the dead. Ding. Bella's mood value is plus 2333. And at the same time. What? What? What the hell is going on? Looking at the divine light surrounding Bella, everyone in Alua was dumbfounded. He looked at Bella in midair with a look of astonishment. He was obviously just an ant-like human being, but at this moment his momentum surged, as if he were a legendary god. Even he felt horrified by the aura emanating from his body. But he also felt a familiar atmosphere. Wait, could it be? Seeing Bella's appearance at this moment, he seemed to think of something and his body shook violently. Immediately, endless ecstasy and throbbing filled his heart. Yes, it must be so. It must be so. Aluo murmured excitedly, his eyes full of enthusiasm. He fell to his knees with a thud. Looking up at Bella's figure, he quickly lowered his head humbly and bowed humbly. Welcome my god to come. Welcome my god to come. At this moment, Aluo's expression was almost crazy. 
In his opinion, Bella must have been chosen by God at the moment to become the carrier for our God to come to the world. This means that the death sacrifice he painstakingly planned was successful. The great ancestor of vampires has really come to the world. Under the leadership of the great God, their vampire clan can definitely create a prosperous age and make the entire earth crawl under the feet of vampires. My God, your humble servant, I offer you the highest respect. Aluo's whole body fell to the ground, worshipping constantly. Ding, arrow's emotional value plus 1333. Swish, swish, swish. And at the moment, two figures flew over from a distance. These two people are naturally Tony Stark and Captain America. After noticing the bloody light rising into the sky in the center of the town, the two of them rushed over immediately, just in time to see the scene in front of them. Hiss. Oh my god. This. What he saw before his eyes made Tony Stark's pupils shrink suddenly. Captain America even looked horrified. Not to mention Bella who stands in the void and looks like a witch. Just the mountain of corpses and sea of blood in the square is terrifying. Tens of thousands of corpses were piled up into an altar of death, with horrified faces, twisted limbs, and rivers of blood. Even a horror movie cannot compare to this situation. Tony Stark and Captain America felt cold all over. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 2333. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 2333. Even though they had just experienced the New York War, it only affected thousands of people and caused more economic losses. But what I saw at the moment was that the lives of tens of thousands of people had been deprived of their lives. Even the remains of these people were piled up into a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. Seeing the scene in front of him, Tony Stark almost vomited on the spot, feeling extremely physically uncomfortable. The same is true for Captain America on the side, but even more filled with endless anger. What did they do? Captain America's eyes burst out with endless anger. So many innocent people died, and all of this was thanks to the man on the altar. After all, only the other party is alive now. Etc. As if realizing something, Captain America and Tony Stark looked up suddenly. At the moment they discovered Bella's existence. Looking at the witch-like figure, the two looked at each other, and their expressions suddenly became more solemn. Because just now, they actually ignored Bella's existence. But it's obvious that the other person is so real. They even saw it with their own eyes, but their consciousness just selectively ignored each other. This situation that goes against common sense makes them feel horrified. Because this can only mean one thing. That is, compared to the person kneeling on the ground below, Bella in midair is the biggest threat. Ding. What happened here? Who is this person? For a moment, countless doubts emerged in the two people's hearts. They know how terrible this crisis is. Even compared to the New York War, if this crisis cannot be resolved today, the consequences may be disastrous. Ding. Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Natasha Romanoff's emotional value plus 1111. Ding, Hawkeye's emotional value is plus 1111. Ding. System prompts sounded one after another. Just as Captain America and Tony Stark were horrified, Natasha Romanoff and others arrived late. They all looked at the altar of death in shock. This scene is really shocking. Even Natasha Romanoff, who had killed many people, was still frightened at the moment, and was extremely horrified by the scene before her. And when she saw Bella in midair, she felt an inexplicable sense of familiarity. And there was a slight tingling on her back. Those twisted lines were squirming like snakes and insects at the moment, as if they were responding to something. But Natasha Romanoff was in shock at the moment, unaware of it. Buzz. And at the moment, ripples appeared in the void, and Bella slowly opened her closed eyes. In an instant, a supreme breath swept across. As if a god had descended into the world, Bella looked at everyone below calmly, feeling even more shocked by her experience. That organization called the Foundation gave her hope when she was desperate. And she was able to escape from the darkness. What she cares about most is that after reaching a certain level of contribution to the mission, she can obtain a sacred object that can bring people back to life. Bella belatedly realized what a great opportunity she had gotten. She even has a chance to resurrect her dead mother. As information about the foundation flooded into her mind, hope filled Bella's eyes again. 
Ding, Bella's mood value is plus 2333. After a long time, Bella quickly calmed down and turned to look at where Captain America and others were. Her eyes went straight to Natasha Romanoff. As if sensing something, her eyes flickered coldly, and she secretly wondered. The aura of evil, could it be that she? Dot. At the moment in New York, Lin Fan is very satisfied with what he is doing. A human body, as good as a god. Unlike Tony Stark and Captain America, who were confused, he naturally knew what was going on. Even this was planned by him. All the gods in the Cthulhu mythos are strange existences. Not to mention being infected by the breath, even just hearing the voice of Cthulhu may lead to the contamination of the spirit and even the soul. And Bella sank in despair, was swallowed by darkness, and merged with Cthulhu. Invisibly, Bella swallowed all the sacrifices offered by Arrow. The blood, souls, and even the aura emitted by Cthulhu were infected by tens of thousands of people. All this drives Bella's demonization. It is not so much that Bella at the moment is still a human being, but rather that she has become a servant of the Cthulhu god system, comparable to the gods in a mortal body. But for Lin Fan, Bella's identity is entirely a matter of his words. So he finally chose to give Bella a light of hope. The divine power of light from the M78 Nebula. This power did not change the fact that Bella was blackened, but it purified Bella's soul so that she would not become a puppet of the Dark Force. At the same time, Lin Fan also fabricated a so-called truth for Bella. A foundation organization from multi-universe. The protagonist is in place. The collision of light and darkness, this drama has just begun. Looking at everything happening in the light curtain, Lin Fan's eyes flickered. There is no Cthulhu pantheon in this world. But this does not mean that the Cthulhu pantheon will not exist in the future. This is all in his mind. Even if you plunder enough emotional points, you can create Cthulhu. Even the great Mephisto leader Azathoth. Lin Fan expressed great expectations for this. But before that, Lin Fan has a more important thing to do, which is to expand the influence of Cthulhu. As the aura of Cthulhu sweeps the world, the earth will undergo a transformation. Most ordinary people probably won't be affected. But those who harbor original sin, such as the vampire arrow, are likely to become strange puppets. The appearance of Bella represents the arrival of the Foundation. Foundation vs Cthulhu Pantheon. When the Avengers, and even the whole world, know this truth, what kind of sensation will it cause? Thinking about the emotional value that can be harvested in the future, Lin Fan is very much looking forward to it. Fox Town, on the altar of death. Not to mention that Bella sensed an evil aura from Natasha Romanoff. That's one of the targets the Foundation is chasing. Regarding this mysterious organization, she only knew the tip of the iceberg, and the more specific situation was unknown at all. But even so, she already felt the terrifying power of the Foundation. After all, resurrection from the dead is not something everyone can do. The most important thing is, with her resurrection from the dead, certain truths became known to her. Including the initiator of this death sacrifice. The evil god Cthulhu. Holding back the hatred in her heart, she looked down at the audience with a faint look in her eyes. The evil god Cthulhu is definitely not something she can mess with. Even if she harbors a blood feud. But when she saw a Luo below, her expression instantly became extremely cold. She really had no way to seek revenge from the evil god Cthulhu. But Arrow, hey, he's just an ant. When her mother died in front of her, Bella was already half dead. Now Bella only wants revenge. At the moment, the indifference in Bella's eyes was covered with hatred. My mother's death, including the destruction of an entire town, was all planned by this person. Before, she had no choice but to wait desperately for death. But at this moment, my god. Welcome my god to come. As if feeling Bella's gaze, Arrow quickly raised his head. He worshipped Bella enthusiastically. But he didn't notice the undisguised disgust and murderous intent on Bella's face, and the strange light shining in her scarlet eyes. You, worship me. Bella's indifferent voice said. My god. Catching Bella's gaze, Arrow nodded hurriedly and said. My great god, I am your most loyal servant. I am willing to do anything for you. At the moment Iluo felt his heart surge. The great ancestor of vampires has come to the world, and as the initiator, he will definitely be recognized by my god. 
not to mention what rewards the great god will bestow upon him. Just for the vampire clan to usher in a great god, the future is definitely bright. The entire earth will crawl under the feet of the vampire family. Okay, okay, very good. Bella raised the corners of her mouth slightly, revealing a strange smile. There was a hint of mockery in her eyes. Glancing at the two people in the distance, she looked down at Aluo with cold eyes and said calmly. In that case, then commit suicide. Thank you very much. Aluo subconsciously wanted to say thank you. But then his body trembled, he looked at Bella in disbelief, and said in a trembling voice. Suicide, suicide. How? Bella asked calmly. As my most loyal believer, isn't it right to sacrifice your life? This, Aluo suddenly made everyone dumbfounded. One side is faith, the other side is life, how to choose. I'm afraid everyone knows how to choose. He made many plans in order to obtain blessings from my god and to obtain a higher status. But at the moment Bella asked him to commit suicide. Isn't this bullying an honest person? My god, are you kidding me? Aluo forced out an ugly smile and tried to save something. His old, withered face became even more ugly. Bella waved her hands with disgust and said. You speak without faith and claim to be my loyal believer. Hypocrites deserve to fall into eternal purgatory. My God is above me, I. Arrow wanted to say something more. But at the moment, Bella no longer wanted to waste any more words. Buzz. Reborn only for revenge, she pointed her finger directly at Aluo. Suddenly ripples appeared in the void, endless gray mist surged endlessly, and the bloody light from the sky suddenly swept down. A bloody sword roared, directly piercing Aluo's eyebrows. Aluo's face was full of astonishment and shock. Until at the moment when his life was on the verge of death, he didn't realize that the Bella in front of him was not the so-called ancestor of vampires at all. He just thought that his hesitation had offended my god. Ding, Arrow's emotional value plus 1333. With the passage of life, Aluo fell to the ground with a thud, and his body gradually became dry. Threads of blood wrapped around the soul and escaped. Bella waved away in disgust. Originally, with her ability, all dirty energy could be swallowed up and refined into nutrients for her own growth. But Arrow's soul was too dirty, which made her extremely disgusted. Swish. Bella waved her hand casually, and an unknown will o the wisp emerged. Arrow's body was immediately burned. Including the mountains of corpses and seas of blood piled up around them, they were directly ignited by the will o wisps and turned into raging flames rising into the sky. The red flames dispersed the gray fog that shrouded the entire town. The sun shines through the dark clouds into the small town. But in the town that was brutally massacred, there was no one left, it was like a dead city. The warm sunshine reveals a bit of biting coldness. Ding, Bella's emotional value plus 1111. Hiss. At this scene, Tony Stark and others gasped. They felt cold all over their bodies. Although he didn't know what happened, he looked at the fire rising into the sky in front of him and the person illuminated by the fire. Everyone looked at each other, with only endless horror and worry in their hearts. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding, Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Natasha Romanoff. Ding, Swish. At the moment, a gaze came. Bella's calm voice sounded. You guys should be Avengers, right? What, do you want to punish rape and eliminate evil? Tony Stark and Captain America are sweating behind the scenes. Facing Bella's extremely cold gaze, the two of them kept opening and closing their mouths, but no sound came out. The sense of oppression in Bella's invisible body made them feel great pressure. This is an enemy a hundred times more dangerous than Chidori. At the moment, just facing Bella's gaze, they even felt unable to resist. We mean no harm. Trying to control the fear in his heart, Captain America said in a deep voice. Half a day ago, S.H.I.E.L.D. lost contact with its branch in Fox Town. Satellites detected that the town was shrouded in gray fog. We are here only to investigate the truth behind the missing people in Fox Town. Captain America directly stated his purpose. Because he could feel that compared to the middle-aged man just now, Bella was not a treacherous person. 
Definitely the most important thing is the huge disparity in strength between the two sides. If there can be peaceful dialogue, that would be great. The truth. Bella's expression flickered slightly when she heard this. But then she sneered and said, Is the truth important? If you should die or not, you are already dead. What's the point of the truth? As if losing interest, Bella turned around and prepared to leave. She took a deep look at the scene around her. The small town of Forks, this is where she has lived for many years, leaving many good and bad memories. But from today on, she never wants to return to this place. All she has left here are painful memories. In order to complete the Foundation's mission and resurrect her mother, she will start looking for where the evil god Cthulhu is hiding. Although facing that evil god, even now she is powerless. But there are people in the Foundation who can solve the problem. Etc. Seeing that Bella was about to leave, Captain America quickly stopped her. This was completely a subconscious behavior on his part. Today, the town of Forks is like a purgatory on Earth. All residents have died, and Bella is the only human being still alive. Whether it was public or private, he wanted to investigate what happened. But he forgot that Bella was definitely not someone he could interfere with. Seeing Captain America taking the initiative to provoke Bella, Tony Stark and others felt their hearts pounding. Bella is someone who is not easy to mess with at first glance. If this offended the other party, a fierce battle would be inevitable, and he was already ready for a fight. Bella turned to look at Captain America and said calmly. What's your business? I want to know the truth. Captain America looked at Bella calmly and said sincerely. The truth is important. No matter what happens here, we must give decedent an explanation. Take preventive measures before they happen. Please, your excellency. Please help us. He definitely knew Bella was dangerous. But compared to his own danger, he wants to know the truth and nip it in the bud. What happened here must never happen again. This is not only an explanation to the public, but also an explanation to the hundreds of thousands of decedents in the town, and it is also their responsibility. Tony Stark and others said nothing, looking directly at Bella. At the moment they were too nervous to breathe. If Bella refuses, forget it. But if this offends the other party, facing Bella, who can cause visions of heaven and earth with a wave of her hand, they have no confidence in defeating her. Bella at the moment is no different from a god in their hearts. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding, Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Natasha Romanoff. Ding, Can. Facing everyone's gaze, Bella nodded calmly. Tony Stark and others breathed a sigh of relief. Captain America's serious expression relaxed, and while he breathed a sigh of relief, he said gratefully. Thank you, your excellency. Let's go. Bella was noncommittal and came to the front of everyone in a flash. Tony Stark and others were shocked. Captain America is very calm. Perhaps because of his personality, he was not too frightened by Bella. He could even feel that at least he thought Bella was a good person. Your Excellency, please come this way. Captain America issued an invitation. With his eyes signaling Tony Stark and others, the group turned and left, quickly returning to the Quinjet. Briefly explain the situation to Melinda, and everyone's communication with Nick Fury is opened. Then Captain America directly asked in a deep voice. Miss Bella, what happened in Forks? Those people. They're all dead. Bella's tone was faint, and a hint of loneliness flashed across her expression. But soon she returned to her indifferent look. The dead are gone and cannot be reversed. Now that her great revenge has been avenged, she has no desires or demands, and from now on she will live only for my god. All dead. Everyone exclaimed, feeling horrified. Although I have known about it for a long time and even witnessed it with my own eyes, I am still shocked by it now. You know, that is the life of hundreds of thousands of people. Even if there are tens of thousands of pigs, it will take three days and three nights to kill them. But now all the residents of the entire town are dead. Tony Stark and others were extremely heavy-hearted and could not imagine what a sensational impact the incident in Fox Town would have once word spread. Ding. Miss Bella. Please elaborate. Captain America requested in a deep voice. It involves the truth behind the deaths of tens of thousands of people, and they must investigate it clearly no matter what. 
Tony Stark and others all looked at Bella. They know it very well. Bella's next words may very well involve a terrible truth. This is a cruel death sacrifice ceremony. Bella spoke calmly. It turned out that she was just an ordinary person and knew nothing about the truth. But since the moment she came back from the dead, countless memories came to her mind, including what Aluo and others had done, and the foundation told her all the truth. Death killing, sacrificial ceremony. Summon the ancestor of vampires. After learning the truth, Bella didn't have any anger, only endless killing intent. Therefore, Aluo died without a complete body. Looking at Captain America and others indifferently, Bella slowly said, I believe you should know that Foxtown is a gathering place for vampires, and the man before was the elder of the vampire clan. This death sacrifice was planned by this person. Tens of thousands of people were massacred as a result. It's a pity that this person, despite all his calculations, never thought that the so-called sacrificial ceremony was simply the evil god's bewitchment. How can the power of gods be beyond the reach of mortals? Before this ceremony, I was just an ordinary human girl. At the end of the sentence, Bella's tone was very complicated. It is indeed lucky to be resurrected from the dead. But witnessing her mother's death with her own eyes, the helpless despair was deeply remembered in her heart. Even she herself almost became the plaything of the evil god. Thanks to the foundation she was able to return from the dead. Death sacrifice to attract gods. Listening to Bella's story, Tony Stark and others were shocked and angry. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding, Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Natasha Romanoff. Ding, these vampires are truly lawless. They wantonly slaughtered hundreds of thousands of people in an attempt to summon the so-called gods to come, with no regard for human life. And if you think about it, you know that the one summoned by the death sacrifice is definitely the evil god. Fortunately, Bella took action in time to kill the instigator. But something is wrong. In Bella's narration, she turned out to be just an ordinary person. So how did she get the terrifying power she has today? Everyone is aware of this problem. Captain America hesitated for a moment, then asked bluntly. We already know the whole story, but I have a question, should I tell it or not? You want to ask where the power I have comes from, right? Bella asked rhetorically. Quote dot dot dot. That's right. Captain America looked slightly embarrassed, but nodded heavily. Bella's strength is too strong. If they can't figure it out, it will be difficult for them to feel completely relieved, even if the instigator is dead. But Bella, who always knew everything, didn't give an answer this time. Her eyes drifted to Natasha Romanoff. You don't need to know the source of my power, but I feel a familiar evil aura in her. Bella looked directly at Natasha Romanoff and asked. Do you know about the existence of evil gods? Natasha Romanoff. Everyone looked at Natasha Romanoff. Everyone, including Natasha Romanoff herself, looked stunned and confused. I. Natasha Romanoff didn't know why, and subconsciously wanted to shake her head in denial. She didn't get any so-called blessing. But just when she was about to speak, her delicate body trembled suddenly, as if she had suddenly thought of something. But Tony Stark and others did not know what Natasha Romanoff was thinking. They noticed the crux of Bella's words. Evil God. Everyone's eyes were filled with surprise and uncertainty. The whole thing was originally very weird, but the result was that Bella was talking so eloquently that it was indeed very suspicious. What vampire, death sacrifice, summoning the ancestor of vampires? Could it be that the other party made it up? Why, don't you believe it? Bella ignored everyone's doubts and said calmly. But it is what it is. But, Captain America hesitated for a moment and said helplessly. I'm sorry, Miss Bella, I really want to believe what you say, but these things are really unbelievable. No, what she said is probably true. But at the moment, before Bella could respond, Natasha Romanoff suddenly spoke. Everyone immediately looked at him with a bit of astonishment and shock. Natasha Romanoff, what do you know? Captain America asked in confusion. Under the gaze of everyone, Natasha Romanoff said nothing, but silently took off her combat uniform, revealing her white back. And at the moment, her back was covered with hideous and twisted black lines. 
Those black lines form some kind of mysterious pattern. This. Tony Stark and others were shocked, and their bodies shook violently. Because they feel very familiar. Not long ago, wasn't this the pattern carved around the altar of death in the central square of the town? Those strange runes composed of blood impressed them extremely deeply. At this moment they saw it again in Natasha Romanoff. Suddenly everyone was shocked. Weird. Evil God. Is everything Bella said true? Ding. Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Ding. Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding. Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding. Natasha Romanoff. Ding. At the same time, somewhere far away in Sokovia. Inside HYDRA's secret base. Since the disappearance of Red Skull, Hydra has completely disappeared from the bright side and has been dormant in the darkness of the earth. And this base in Sokovia is one of HYDRA's locations. Its controller is named Baron Strucker. Dr. Elson, how is the human superpower experiment going? Baron Strucker asked in a deep voice. At the moment in front of them, a dozen men and women were locked in transparent cells, looking a little crazy. Please forgive me, sir. Dr. Elson broke into cold sweat and looked terrified. He quickly reported to 1511. Those experimental subjects are too weak. Even if the experiment is successful, they still cannot bear the load of super ability, so. Baron Strucker was noncommittal. His indifferent eyes stared at Dr. Elson, and an invisible sense of oppression emanated. Dr. Elson's body suddenly trembled nervously. Well, I understand. Suddenly Baron Strucker tapped Dr. Elson on the shoulder. He showed a cold smile and said. If you want a psychic scepter, I'll give it to you, and I'll continue to find more experimental subjects for you. But within half a month, I want to see results, do you understand? Baron Strucker's tone was unequivocal. Dr. Elson nodded hurriedly and said. Don't worry, sir, I will do my best to live up to your trust. Soon Dr. Elson hurriedly exited the room. He went straight back to the lab. When he thought of the pressure he faced, his face became very ugly, and he immediately started human experiments again. This time he chose a brother and sister among the many experimental subjects. Soon cruel human experiments began. Driven by a special machine, the energy in the psychic scepter was activated and poured directly into the bodies of the brother and sister. Suddenly, painful screams rang out, and the two bound people struggled constantly but they couldn't break free and were forced to endure torture. The so-called human experiment is to continuously transform the weak body of human beings through the power of the spiritual scepter. Those who can withstand it will thus awakening a series of super abilities. But the experiment process was very painful. The mind scepter is originally a mind gem. When the power of the mind pours into the human body, it will cause great torture to the human spirit. Once you can't bear it, you will go crazy at least, or your soul will be annihilated at worst. The previous experimental subjects failed because of this. As the experiment progressed, the brother and sister's expressions became painful and distorted, and they suffered both physical and mental torture. The energy emitted by the psychic scepter surges endlessly. These energies poured into the bodies of the brothers and sisters, transforming their bodies while also producing many tortuous mental illusions. That is the most painful haze in their hearts that they even do not want to face. And in silence, within the bodies of this brother and sister, strands of black aura radiate out. These black auras are entangled with the power of the mind gem. Just like the fusion of water and fire, the two forces strangely merged together and then merged into the bodies of the brother and sister. An unknown change happened quietly. Ding, Wanda's emotional value plus 1333. Ding, Quicksilver's mood value is plus 1333. Different from previous experiments, those failed experiments lasted for at most 3 minutes, and the subject would be unable to bear it and die immediately. This half hour long torture did not break down the brother and sister. They actually persisted forcefully. This means that these siblings have unimaginable potential. Okay, okay, this is really great. Dr. Elson was so excited that he was shaking, and his eyes were extremely hot. It was like he had found a treasure. Stop testing. Ask his subordinates to stop the experiment and take the test product back for a closer inspection. Then he immediately found Baron Strucker. Sir, 
What good news? Dr. Elson quickly explained the situation. Baron Strucker revealed the information and asked curiously. The brother and sister must check carefully and make sure there is no problem. They can only succeed, not fail. Yes, sir. Dr. Elson nodded hastily. After a moment of silence, Baron Strucker asked casually. What is the origin of these brothers and sisters? My lord, please wait a moment. Dr. Elson quickly made some inquiries and then reported respectfully. They are a pair of orphans from the civilian area of Sokovia. The older brother is Pietro and the younger sister is Wanda. Avengers Base. After learning about the existence of the evil god, Tony Stark and others were naturally shocked. At first they were unwilling to believe the so-called evil god. But the death sacrificial ceremony that took place in the small town of Forks cannot be faked. Natasha Romanoff even said it personally. After scanning the strange runes around the altar, the group took the Quinn jet and quickly returned to the Avengers base. At the moment Nick Fury is already waiting here with experts from S.H.I.E.L.D. They wanted to get more information from Bella. At the same time, S.H.I.E.L.D. experts will also conduct professional analysis of the weird runes included. They tried to learn more about the evil god. Even at the same time, a team of professional S.H.I.E.L.D. agents rushed to the town of Fox again to investigate. At the moment in the base, Bella was invited to the conference room. Everyone looked at Bella eagerly, Captain America said sincerely. Miss Bella, can you provide any other information about the so-called evil god? I don't know much. Bella was silent for a moment, but still chose to believe the Avengers. This is already the most powerful group of people on Earth. If she wants to find traces of the evil god, with the help of these people, maybe she can get what she wants faster. Thinking of this, she immediately said. The evil god is called Cthulhu. He is a very powerful existence, and his ability is extremely weird. Ding. Although the evil god Cthulhu did not take the initiative, even a breath or a thought is enough to overturn the fate of a mortal. Those vampires are infected by the breath of the evil god Cthulhu. There is original sin in life. The breath of the evil god ignited original sin, causing those vampires to become inhumane butchers. A death sacrifice, hundreds of thousands of people were slaughtered. When talking about this matter, Bella's tone was very indifferent. But the killing intent on her face was undisguised. Although Arrow is dead, the real instigator, the evil god Cthulhu, is now missing. According to the Foundation's intelligence, Cthulhu has arrived in the dimension where the Earth is located. It is even possible that it is sleeping somewhere on the Earth. Listening to Bella's story, everyone present was silent. They can all feel the oppressive atmosphere. But come to think of it. According to the information found by S.H.I.E.L.D., not long ago, Bella was an ordinary human girl. But overnight, the family was broken up and the small town where they lived turned into a purgatory. This would be a huge amount of blow to anyone. Miss Bella, please forgive me. Captain America comforted him in a deep voice and changed the subject. But I don't understand. If that evil god is so powerful, why didn't he directly interfere with the entire earth? This is also what Tony Stark and others doubt. Cthulhu sounds scary. But if it is really powerful, then given the opponent's ability, the entire earth may not be able to escape misfortune. But the fact is that only the town of Forks has fallen. You sure? Bella looked at Captain America calmly and asked. If I said that at the moment the entire earth has been affected, would you believe it? What? How is that possible? Everyone who heard this exclaimed in disbelief. Captain America asked solemnly. Really? Isn't S.H.I.E.L.D. the best at intelligence? Didn't you receive the message? Bella said noncommittally. This. Everyone hesitated and looked at Nick Fury. The latter said with a straight face. I haven't received any news yet. Call. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief after hearing this. But suddenly, Tony Stark said in a deep voice. J.A.R.V.I.S., connect to the global network and investigate whether there is anything unusual happening recently. Okay, sir. The cold electronic sound of J.A.R.V.I.S. sounded. While everyone was waiting nervously, it didn't take long before J.A.R.V.I.S.'s cold voice sounded again. Sir, the investigation results are out. How? Tony Stark asked in a deep voice. Everyone waited with bated breath. Through screening of global network information, the crime rate increased by 15% and the number of patients with mental disorders increased by 
Everyone who heard this was shocked. Crime rate increased by 15%. You must know that this is global data, it is simply shocking. The number of patients with mental disorders increased by 12%. And that's just the latest data. If things continue like this, the consequences will be disastrous. I'm afraid Foxtown is just the beginning. The entire human race will follow in the footsteps of the small town of Forks. How could this happen? Ding! Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1,333. Ding! Captain America's emotional value is plus 1,333. Ding! Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1,333. Ding! Natasha Romanoff. Ding! What exactly is going on? Tony Stark and others looked gloomy, and their hearts were heavy. Only Nick Fury's eyes flickered. As the king of agents, he would not trust anyone easily, so he still had doubts about Bella. But he did not show it, but silently observed the current situation. Is this what the evil god did? Captain America asked in a solemn tone. Yes. Bella nodded and said in a deep voice. Based on the information I know, the evil god Cthulhu is sleeping on the earth, and his specific location is unknown. Now these effects are just caused by the other party's aura emanating. And once the evil god Cthulhu awakens. At this point, Bella didn't say anything more, but the meaning was self-evident. Captain America and others looked at each other with extremely solemn expressions. None of them wanted to believe the results. But the facts are now in front of them. Even if they don't believe it, they must take precautions before they happen. But what to do, they had no idea at all. How do we find it? Captain America asked bluntly. The evil god is so powerful. Even if we can find him, he won't be our opponent, right? This is not an issue you should be struggling with. Bella did not hide her contempt and said calmly. The influence of the evil god Cthulhu will continue to spread, but you only need to look for clues, and someone will take action to solve this matter. You don't want to become like those vampires, do you? As she spoke, Bella didn't care about everyone's ugly expressions. She turned to Natasha Romanoff and said, You have the aura of the evil god on your body. If possible, I want to find the evil god's location through you. I, Natasha Romanoff frowned. What can I do for you? Natasha Romanoff asked rhetorically. She still had no idea what had happened to her, and had no idea what was going on. So she didn't know whether to agree to Bella's request. After looking at Captain America and others, as well as her immediate boss Nick Fury, she finally nodded and said. Okay. What should I do? Give me your hand. Bella said, walking directly to Natasha Romanoff. Then her eyes burst into light. As the divine power circulated, it touched the black line on Natasha Romanoff's back, and bursts of burning pain made Natasha Romanoff's expression distorted. But she gritted her teeth and persisted. Driven by divine power, the black line on Natasha Romanoff's back became more and more twisted. Bella directly peeled off all these black lines. I saw that in midair, strands of black threads were constantly entangled and twisted into various weird and weird lines. J-A-R-V-I-S, record them all. Tony Stark was shocked and quickly issued instructions. J-A-R-V-I-S will scan and include it immediately. Under the shocked gaze of everyone, those black lines exuded a foul smell, making people feel a sense of death. Bella tried to use these powers that belonged to Cthulhu to search for the location of Cthulhu. Buzz. Divine power suddenly circulated, and Bella exerted all her strength. She harbors huge amounts of hatred for Cthulhu. The opportunity was right in front of her at this moment, and she was unwilling to give up no matter what, so that her face turned pale. Is it so easy to spy on an old one? That is to say, Cthulhu does not exist in this world. Otherwise, with Bella's reckless behavior, I am afraid that she will be punished by God immediately. But Lin Fan, who was far away in New York, made the system respond to Bella. System, create a false positioning. Ding, the host consumes 1000 emotional points, virtual Cthulhu is being created. Dot, Avengers base, buzz. Bella's divine power circulated, trying to find the location of Cthulhu through the power of the evil god remaining in Natasha Romanoff. But with her current strength, how dare she spy on the old ones? A supreme aura suddenly spread out. Along with a rumbling sound, endless gray fog filled the air and turned into a storm that swept through the entire conference room. 
Everyone in the audience was thrown to the ground, and the rich death energy turned into a ferocious shadow and roared. Kill, kill, kill. Countless negative emotions continued to corrode everyone's spirit. Natasha Romanoff recalled the nightmare in her sleep, her face turned pale and her whole body trembled violently. Tony Stark's mental chaos, a magnificent black palace appeared before his eyes. Nick Fury fell into a mountain of blood and corpses. Bruce Banner's skin turns green, his body keeps twisting, and he will turn into an angry Hulk at any time. Only Captain America held on, seemingly unaffected. When he saw the distorted expressions of everyone, his heart sank, and he shouted loudly. No, everyone, wake up. But unfortunately it backfired. How could he, a mortal, be able to resolve the pollution from Cthulhu's aura with just a few words? And at the moment in front of Bella, countless dark planets were constantly turning. The entire galaxy is swallowed up by endless darkness. A huge amount of shadow is coming. As a huge fixed star exploded, the light shining in the starry sky flashed away, revealing a ferocious tentacle monster. That, is Cthulhu. How dare a mortal dare to overstep his bounds. Cthulhu cast his gaze, and the sound of the Supreme Avenue resounded. Bella suddenly felt her soul trembling. A death shock swept through her, causing her whole body to be torn apart, and she was completely wiped out of the world. But at the moment, a great divine power descended quietly. Bella suddenly felt extremely warm. Foundation. In an instant, Bella realized that the Foundation was responsible. To be precise, it was the power given to her by the Foundation. The light of hope that comes from the unknown M78 Nebula gives her powerful power, far beyond what mortals can achieve. But in front of the evil god Cthulhu, she is still as weak as an ant. The realm of God cannot be violated. Realizing that she was too reckless, Bella was still frightened. But she also got what she wanted. Thinking of the place in the picture where the evil god Cthulhu descended, she already knew where Cthulhu was hiding. Not on Earth, but within the solar system. Everyone spread out. Opening her eyes, Bella saw the tragic situation of Captain America and others. Boundless divine power surged and agitated with the roar. Buzz. The power of divine light swept across, as if the ice and snow were melting, directly dispersing the thick gray fog around him. Immediately, the divine power turned into drizzle and fell into the bodies of everyone present. After a while, everyone slowly woke up from the nightmare. But recalling what they had just experienced, everyone's expressions looked ugly, and they were even vaguely afraid. Are you guys okay? Captain America helped Natasha Romanoff on the side and asked worriedly. Everyone shook their heads, but their expressions were ugly. After personally experiencing the nightmare experience, their beliefs were shaken at this moment and they began to believe what Bella said. The evil god Cthulhu may really exist. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding, Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Natasha Romanoff. Ding, what happened just now? What did you do? Nick Fury asked in a deep voice. Although they were all trapped in the most terrifying nightmare, which seemed to confirm Bella's statement, he still felt suspicious. Whether it was public or private, at this moment he finally took the initiative to ask. Because what he just experienced was the Hydra Rebellion. It was obvious that Hydra had been destroyed long ago, but in the nightmare just now, he saw S.H.I.E.L.D. being destroyed by Hydra. Even the entire Earth is shrouded in the shadow of HYDRA's rule. This immediately made him have to be vigilant. Ding, Nick Fury's emotional value is plus 1111. Sorry, this was my mistake. Bella held on to her weak body and said in a solemn tone. I originally wanted to find traces of the evil god through the remaining breath of the evil god on Natasha Romanoff, but I didn't expect the evil god to be so powerful. What you experienced just now is the result of the erosion of the evil god's breath. Just like those vampires before. If you are trapped in a nightmare and cannot get out, you may become a walking zombie. As soon as these words came out, the atmosphere suddenly became stagnant. Everyone looked extremely ugly. Just a breath from the evil god almost killed them. How powerful can Cthulhu be? If what Bella said is true, then the earth is really facing a crisis of destruction but they still have some doubts in their hearts. How is the result?
Captain America asked in a deep voice, this was their biggest concern. Not on Earth, but. Facing everyone's complicated looks, Bella shook her head, but then said in a low tone. Somewhere within the solar system. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding, Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Natasha Romanoff. Ding, dot. At the same time, somewhere far away in New York. Lin Fan walked slowly on the street. As the plan progresses, he has harvested tens of thousands of emotional values, and this is just the beginning. At present, Lin Fan does not plan to continue causing trouble, and is ready to let the bullets fly for a while. He naturally knows that going too far is never enough. Through Bella, the tool man, the existence of Cthulhu has been exposed. It doesn't matter how the Avengers will react. Cthulhu's influence has only just begun. I believe that in the nightmare of infinite reincarnation, whether they believe it or not, they will finally realize the horror of Cthulhu. As for whether a real Cthulhu will be created in the future, that depends on the situation. After all, all he wants is to harvest emotional value. Is it less expensive to transform a system based on an existing one than to create it out of thin air? While walking, Lin Fan asked the system in his mind. At the moment he is ready to go somewhere. Hell's Kitchen, New York, is a borderless land where gangs are rampant, and even the authorities are unable to do so. And he went to Hell's Kitchen to prepare for the next plan. At the same time, he also wanted to try to improve his strength. In this dangerous Marvel world, villains will appear every three days and start a life and death battle with superheroes. The system can certainly help him shield himself from the prying eyes of the strongest. But he can't hide every day, right? As long as he wants to go out for a walk, he will inevitably encounter various dangers. Therefore, he himself must have enough strength to protect himself. And now there is a good opportunity. Ding, the renovation cost is relatively low, the specific cost depends on the situation. The system quickly responded. Very good. Lin Fan heard this and nodded secretly with satisfaction. This guarantee is enough. As a time traveler with the advantage of foresight, he knows many secrets that can help him plan. And in Hell's Kitchen, he has exactly what he wants. Soon Lin Fan took a taxi. After paying the excess fee, the driver took him to the outskirts of Hell's Kitchen. Then the driver is willing to go back in any way. Lin Fan didn't care and got off the car directly. Spending 100 emotion points, Lin Fan quickly arrived at an old building under the guidance of the system. System, scan the underground of this building to find a suitable location for teleportation. While there was no one around, Lin Fan gave instructions to the system. Ding, 500 emotional points are consumed, the scanning function is turned on, and the transmission position is being located. The role of emotional value is unquestionable. As long as Lin Fan is willing, he can even create a god out of thin air, not to mention these small functions. Compared with the benefits he can get from this trip, this cost is not considered by him at all. Not long after, the system prompt sounded again. Ding, positioning is complete, does the host consume 1000 emotion points to teleport? Sure, Lin Fan looked calm and unmoved. And the next moment, there were ripples in the space, and Lin Fan disappeared directly, appearing in a dark underground space. With a thought in Lin Fan's mind, all the darkness around him was dispersed. The system generates a light directly out of thin air. Is this the place where the dragon bones are sealed? Lin Fan's eyes flashed as he looked at the damp and decaying environment around him. I saw a bronze door in the deepest part of the cave. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.